What's up, brothers? Hope everyone's doing well out there. I'm out here in the yard where all the magic happens. But I'll find me a skank to lay up with later, because I ain't got time for that right now. Right now I got more important things to do. Like shoot the shit with you guys. And it's a nice, cool fall evening. And I'm gonna take advantage. Now before we get this video started, I do want to shout out all these little reaction channels that like making videos talking trash about LFA. And I know you're thirsty for a response, so here it is. You disgust me, and I will never engage with you. I will never shout you out in a video. I will never debate you or respond to you in name. And it's also come to my attention that there's a lot of self-improvement YouTubers out there, Manosphere YouTubers out there, that don't really want to give you any improvement. No, they're just here to sell courses. So they'll come on, they'll come on the internet and they'll say, whatever comes to their mind that sounds good, whatever sounds like it might work, whatever sounds like it might get them more sales, that's what they'll come on here and say. So. I'm going to straight shoot with you guys because I think it's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. Anyways, what I want to talk about in today's video is why women disappear after they fuck you. And believe it or not, this is the most common question that women ask. They say they hooked up with some dude, you know, he was talking to her, they hooked up. And he left, he disappeared. He don't want to talk to her anymore. So it goes both ways. And I don't think I've ever heard anybody word this correctly. But I was thinking to myself, what is it? What is the, what, what's that dynamic that takes place that causes this to happen? And it clicked. You know, I finally got it. I finally understood. And any man out there that's went through a man whore phase, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. And any woman out there that's gone through a hoe phase and rode the carousel, she's going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Any dude that's made a hookup off a of tender or got with an escort is going to know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> and here's what it is. And this holds true, I'd say about 80 to 90% of the time. There is a, a 10, 15% where this doesn't hold true, and we'll get to that as well, but over 80% of the time, this is going to hold true, guaranteed. When you have sex with somebody that you have no emotional connection with, after you do the deed, and it doesn't matter how pleasurable it was, you can take her to the mountaintop under the moon and the stars. You can put her in the hucklebuck. You can put her in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or the bee sting. You can do all the pleasuring you want to do, back and forth. But if there's no emotional connection between the two of you, after you do the deed and that post nut clarity kicks in, you're going to be repulsed by that person. And you know damn well that I'm right. You hook up with that random chick off Tinder, that random chick you met at a bar, you guys that pay to play, you hook up with an escort, you know damn well as soon as you get your rocks off, you're grossed out. You're disgusted. You feel icky. You know, you feel downright filthy. If you do it in your bed, you gotta wash your sheets. You gotta go take a shower. That's the feeling you get when you hook up with somebody you have no emotional connection to. Now, like I said, there's a 15% maybe chance that you don't get that feeling. And this only occurs when you're with somebody that you are very, very sexually attracted to, like you have a real high sexual chemistry. For example, a woman will feel this way about a man that has tons of bad boy sex appeal, like he's just on another level she'll keep him around just to fuck him right he puts it down real good or if you meet a chick 
I would say the number one thing, you know, she can suck it real good. That's what it comes down to. It's not even about the sex. If she can suck it real good, because that's not quite as filthy after the post-nut clarity. But, you know, she has high sex appeal. She's hot and she does something really good. You'll keep her around. But let's face it. Sex is about chemistry. It's about the two of you putting on a show together. You know, it's you got to be in a rhythm with one another and really be on the same page. And most of the time you don't get that. But when you have sex with a woman that you actually do have an emotional connection to, and don't let the manosphere tell you anytime you get emotional connection, a woman's going to leave you. That's bullshit. You know, if two people have an emotional uh, investment in one another and it's equal, you have nothing to worry about. But if you have an emotional connection to a woman and you fuck her, you're fine laying in bed with her. You're fine cuddling, chilling, throwing a movie, throw some pizza rolls in the oven, order some fucking wing stop. Watch Jurassic Park. Listen to fucking sexy red albums. You know, you're cool. You just got your rocks off. We can chill. Maybe smoke. Have another beer. And relax, because that's your girl. But when it's some random chick that you don't have any emotional connection with, out of here. Get out. Out of my sight. Get the fuck out. I'm, I am disgusted by you. You know that's true. That's just the way that it goes. And any time that you find yourself in this situation, whether you're a man or a woman, if you've been talking to somebody and you just fucked them for the first time, and they're not calling you back, they're not urgent to get back to you, and you're thinking in your head, is this a game? Is this a shit test? What's going on here? How do I play this? I'll tell you exactly how you play this by understanding what's actually going on. Here's what's going on. They're, they find you repulsive. They're repulsed by you. And anytime there's repulsion, any pursuit, if they're repulsed by you and you show any pursuit whatsoever, they will be disgusted by you. They will look at you and you'll see the look on their face. They think you're disgusting. And that's the way it goes, right? Because there was no emotional connection. Here's what happens, right? You meet somebody and you set up a date, right? You set up a date for Thursday. You know, the anticipation, you're, you're excited, the tension is building up. You're really looking forward to Thursday. Thursday rolls around. They show up at your place. She knocks on the door. She dressed all sexy. By sexy, I mean sweatpants, nice little thong underneath. You know, a little, a little crop top little belly shirt type deal. You let her in. You sit on the couch for maybe five or ten minutes. Talk about some random shit. And then you grab her by the hand and you walk her to the bedroom. You know what I'm talking about. You do your thing. You know, and she can be the greatest pleaser in the world can be the most pleasurable experience in the world. But uh, after you get your rocks off and you realize it was just lust, I never had a shred of love for this woman at all. Just lust. Immediately afterwards, no matter how hot she is, get the fuck out. Pick your panties up off the ground. What the hell are you doing here? Get out of here. 
and you know it's true. You know, I don't make the rules, man. It's just the way it is, and women are the same way. Same exact way. She might have saw you as this hot fuck boy, and she's feeling like making some bad decisions and doing some ratchet things. She says, you know what? I'm gonna invite this guy over. So she hits you up. You don't have shit going on. You're just sitting around eating Cheetos and playing 2K. You say, you know what? I'm gonna throw some draws on. I'm gonna go over to this girl's house. You go on over there. She opens up the door. She likes what she sees. You sit on the couch for a few minutes. Seems like things are going a little slow. So you ask her if she wants to go to the bedroom. She takes you to the bedroom. You do your thing. And she ain't gonna say it because she's too ladylike. But uh, you can tell she wants you out of there. And you want to leave anyways. So you grab your shit and you go. Well, and I guess in this situation, you're a lover boy and you want to stay. Cuddle up with her. But eventually you leave and she doesn't call you back. Well, she got that post-nut clarity. And she don't want anything to do with you anymore. Every time you text her, she throws up in her mouth a little bit. It's a sad story. I wish it didn't have to be this way. And I wish I didn't have to be the one to tell you. But somebody's got to do it. And I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that will. Now, it's getting a little dark out here. I don't want to end this one yet, though. I think we need to come up with something productive to finish this one with. I feel like we can't end this one if there's not a solution. And it's tricky because the truth of the matter is if a woman doesn't want to fuck you, she definitely doesn't want to date you. So, you do have to move a certain way. You do have to have a little bit of sex appeal. The way you communicate does need to be from a sexual perspective. But you need to... How do I word this? You need to move with caution because you can't control the way another person feels. You can only put yourself out there a certain way and hope that they feel the way you want them to feel. But you're, you have no control of whether they do or not. So you go through the motions, make sure the sexual chemistry is there. I don't care how good of a girl she is, how much of a you know religious, nice, good girl she is. Loves horses, loves her mother, whatever. Loves her father. We still have primal instincts, you know, and that sex appeal, that sexual attraction still has to be there. But, uh, I suppose there is no solution. You know, there is no solution in hookup culture because the cold hard truth is in hookup culture, 2024, smartphones, dating apps, porn, you name it. It's easier than ever to get laid, but it's harder than ever to find something that means anything. And when you do find a relationship, it's easier than ever to cheat, but it's harder than ever to get away with it because we live in a constant state of surveillance. Data, GPS, tracking, search history, text messages. 
it's all there, you know. A lot of people think the world's more corrupt now than it ever has been. But the truth is, now there's just a paper trail. Now everything you do sticks with you for the rest of your life. So every time somebody cheats, everyone knows. Every time somebody hooks up, everyone knows. You know, when I was in high school, if a girl had a high body count, nobody really knew. Unless you were in the bedroom when it happened. Now, everybody knows everybody's business. Everybody's too connected to everybody. Nothing's private anymore. But, we're never going back to the way it used to be. You know, with the way ladies used to move, they used to actually make a man wait for sex. You know, and it wasn't, I know a lot of red pill manosphere type talk, they like to say like, you know, if a woman makes you wait for sex, then obviously she's not interested. There might be a kernel of truth in there, but back in the old days, women would often make a man wait for sex because she wanted to make sure that the two of them had an emotional connection to each other. So when they fuck each other, they'll stay together. Because, you know, historically there weren't condoms and birth control and paternity tests. If she lets a man hit, you know, and he takes a horse and carriage to West Virginia the next day, and she finds out she's pregnant, she has no way to contact him, no way to prove it's his, no way to prove he was even there. So it was in her best interest to move slow. Put that magical spell on him, make him fall in love. But in this day and age, there's not really any consequences to your actions. So people chase pleasure. And then they reach the dead end that pleasure leads you to. The mountaintop. The orgasmic mountaintop. She squirts for the first time. But, it was all for nothing. Because the next day she don't want you no more. What a sad story. But it is what it is. Now fellas, it's been very nice shooting the shit with you guys. Good conversation. I enjoyed myself and I hope you did too. But as I was saying... I gotta find me a skank to lay up with. Right, babe? I hope this video was somewhat informative. But that's about it for tonight, guys. Until next time, see ya.